Hey folks, Quilly King here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Factorio. In this episode, we are going to be working on things derived from oil. So we've got advanced oil processing over here unlocked and I've done the basic setup. We got water coming in. We got our crude oil coming in. We've got our three different materials on them. Not entirely pleased about how I place these things, but let's all let's all agree to ignore that. Um, and I've got tech. Hey, what is that little arrow mark? Is that the origin of these things? Oh, that's quite interesting. I hadn't noticed that before. Look at that, the little up arrow at the top. So yeah, I'm thinking this is the source of this material. Or the extents, maybe. I don't know, anyway, that's kind of neat. Um, I also did a basic setup for the cracking over here. So this cracks the heavy oil into light and this cracks the light oil to petroleum gas um, and I set up a tiny little circuit arrangement for them. So you can see here I've got a cable coming from this heavy oil tank coming to this pump and this pump has been set to only enable when we have over 20k heavy oil stored in here. These tanks contain 25k units, every 25,000 units in each one, so there's 100,000 in total, but this little cable is just tied up to this one, so it can have up to 25,000. So I thought when they're about 80% full, we will start doing the processing over here from heavy into light. And then the exact same thing happens over here from this tank over here to this pump. Uh, when it reaches over 20K in here, then it will start cracking this into petroleum gas. Of course, that'll only work if we also have space. So if we're full on petroleum gas, which I, it is the case now. It probably won't really be in the long term because it's one of the things we use the most. But, you know, presumably this won't run even if this thing was full. But, I mean, that's that's fine. That, that's okay. So, I just have a token one set up there because I wanted to fiddle-faddle with the connection. And I don't think these buttons existed the way that they do now in the last time we played. Um, but, yeah, I'm satisfied with this works. And we can increase this once we actually start using it. Which, I mean, in theory, is going to happen here. Hey, robotics just finished researching various ribbit stuff. So I would really like to get that going on. I think, I think presumably we've got what we need to start building that. We'll have to figure out some areas for some of these things. Yeah, we have basic sulfur over there. I really want to do more oil processing. We've all of this space over here, which I don't think is going to be used by anything else. So it seems like a pretty good place. On the other hand, it will require moving around. You, you know what? Hold on. Let's back up the bus, or rather, let's start up the train. Is that the right thing to do right now? Working on railroad stuff <clears throat> to bring resources in. I mean, there's our iron. I mean, in theory, this is going to deplete, you know, in the not too distant future, because we are using this up faster and faster. Because I could make a separate station area for things. I'm like, how, how am I going to get this stuff over? Well, there's all this area over here, which actually we're not using either and may in fact be a better bet. Okay, let's take a look. If we wanted to, now we're working on construction robots now. Um, I guess we can't, no, there it is. There you go. Yeah, see this needs batteries and that's over here. So it gets made in a chemical plant, iron plates, copper plates, sulfuric acid. Yep. So what we have to do is we have to get another liquid down. Mostly what we do need is a lot of chemical plants. I've got a bunch in my inventory. I'm going to craft some more. Um, oh, apparently I started crafting some guns. Oh, did I feel the need to go and pop an alien base? I think I cleared a few over here in between episodes. I suspect that's the case. Okay. Alien base situation is fine. What we do need is we need, if we're going to make sulfuric acid, we're definitely going to need more sulfur production. I have no doubt about that. Um, we're probably going to fill both sides over here. Do I? I do need to leave a gap because otherwise the pipes are going to do weird things. Yeah. Yeah. So two. Actually, what's the rate on this? And I don't know what speed multiplier this thing gets, but um, it makes two per second. Let's assume this works at one per second. I don't know if we can see that. Crafting speed is one. OK, so this works at um, at a base rate. So it's making two per second. So, well, if this was a yellow thing, 12 on each side would saturate it. In this case, we can we can do 24 per side. Let's let's just aim for the the, the 12 per side currently. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. Wait, I'm still doubling. Um, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12. Turns out I have to count one at a time some of the time. Okay. And then we'll be setting up things on another side as well. And what I'm going to do is probably just divert some of it over here, and some of it will go into sulfur or sulfuric acid production. So let's go and set up the piping. Click there and then drag. Click, drag. Ooh, I'm so looking forward to bots. Actually, I'm wondering, maybe I should really try to do the absolute minimum construction. to get some bots. It's not a, the worst idea in the universe. Ooh, that does not work the way I'd hoped it would work. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, I'm gonna finish this setup. But I'm all worried about ratios. I mean, again, even this isn't actually doing perfect ratios. That's gotta go away. Connect there. And then I guess I'll do that. Actually, if I go... Oh, that won't connect there. Okay. I gotta do this to get the grid working, and then we'll have to do cable somewhere else to get that. But that's okay. All right. And then you go there, 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 there. Oh, I need more of these unders. Okay, hold on a sec. I do have those being produced. Ah! No, no squeak through mod. I want to get the achievements, so I'm not running them, although I keep thinking about it. And I think the piping, yeah, is a little higher up over here. Do, do, do. I guess part of it... Oh, I forgot that I was making my own chemical plants. I was like, oh, because I, I made those by hand, but... Um, do I want to grab... Yeah, you know what? I'll grab a half of that. Oil refineries, which actually we may not need more. But chemical plants, we do tend to need a bit. I'll grab half of these. I'll put 20. You know what? No, I'm going to take them all. Um, should I dump? Yeah, I do have a little box over here. Let's get rid of this coal that I've picked up doing some, maybe moving things around. I don't know. Um, oh, that's probably fuel for my car, which I did build a car finally. Also built these uh, combinators, which I, for some reason I thought I was going to need this for the logic network, but that is not the case. Uh, I also ended up with some sulfur in my pocket, but I guess we'll dump it when we put down our little uh, production stuff over here. All right, running back over. It'll be nice to get our little power suits, too, which I think realistically we do need batteries for, right? For the solar power stuff and everything to kind of work as a power source. Uh, so we're grabbing that. And then the chuka, 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 chuka. But yeah, I think, I think bots first. Okay, so you guys are up there, and uh, I guess, yeah, we do swing. I mean, now that we've got the, the capacity increase, honestly, the yellows might not do... The yellow inserters, I mean, might not do too badly, but we'll just slap some blues on here just to make sure the rate is being met. Okay, and then from here... I get that now. Now, this is still all applying on the one side. There'll be What I'm going to do over here is so that I don't have to worry about doing the second side quite yet. I'm going to do a couple of little splitter things here because you're going to do this, 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 this. And then what I'm going to do is split again. So this is just to balance the two lanes, the two sides of the lane out. And then I'm going to do that just to, um, okay, no, that's fine. Cause that's still going to do one side. And then this is going to go to where we're making sulfuric acid. Now, I, we can just pull things off of this directly, and I could do things. I think we need iron and which one's the sulfuric acid right here? Iron. Oh, you also need water, um, which is fine. But I could put like iron on the same track as the sulfur over here. But let's say we don't. And where's my grenades? So, yeah, I don't know how much we need to scale, you know, all these production. I mean, the answer is always just more, much, much, much more. Um, in theory, what we're currently producing, well, right now, with 12 of these, we're producing 24 per second. We're really going to be doing the other side, so we'll be producing 48 per second. Hang on. Am I, am I misremembering the throughput of the belts here? 30 units per second. They, they, they change these numbers. Oh, no. Anyway, whatever. You know what? 
Who cares? Let's just keep moving on. My math may be completely wrong, but that's okay. Now, how do we want to bring these materials in? Is an interesting question. So, this is sulfuric acid. It's going to need water coming in. So, ultimately, at some point, this little bit is going to be... Oct Although, I could go and underground it. I could go... Okay. Um, I should probably assume this way. Yeah, maybe that's the way I often do it. Right? And then, let's, let's give it a little bit more of a gap, just to say. But then, yeah. This is going to have water in here. And I might just... For simplicity, run a line here. It's a little annoying because you can't walk through it, but it may be the case. And so I think what might happen... Right, what if we do this, that, this, underground this to some distance... And then the idea is we bring iron in over here. And then we can just grab both from the same one. How quickly does this produce? I don't think it's... Oh, no, it is one second crafting time. And it's going to pick up six things. Well, you know what? I think two blues with the stacking bonus will do it more or less. And then, yeah, you are outputting a liquid. So I think the ease is just to do something like this. And yet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the all the liquids to sort of be in a similar line over here. And there's a good chance some of this is going to actually run backwards over towards the bus because some things and it, oh maybe, maybe just lubricants I don't know does get used by some stuff that we may want to have on the bus. Okay, I think this works. Now we have to get some iron, probably coming here. I realize that's backwards, but it's okay. Yeah, this is all relatively clear. Um, I guess I'll do a chop here. Just a grenade. I'm going to have to repair a bunch of stuff. Is there a box right? I don't remember where one of my dummy boxes is, but okay. Um, This is sort of in a way, and then this structure. I can route down here. Okay. Ooh, well, ish. Yeah, this is all very awkward. I should have left maybe a little bit more gaps between some of these things. And some of these things could be tighter. Like, if this was brought down, it's fine. As long as I get iron off of something. Let's let's take it off right here. And, I mean, it's fine. And I know that the math is on these don't work out. Although, with the splitters... Anyway, anyway it's fine. As I say, with the splitters, there's still some usefulness out of this. I can just drive this directly this way. And I mean, there is an iron thing there, which honestly is being hardly used. But. Then. Oops. Bring you here. Here. I think I'll bring you flush to this. Um. What? Why isn't it doing both sides of this? Is this just not... Was I getting confused because of these undergrounds? Strange. Also, before I do much more of this, clearly I should pick up more of these bad boys. That's a lot. Everything else is okay. Ah, you know what? We could use a stack of splitters. Okay. But yeah, otherwise we're in good shape there. And yeah, I would wanted it down here, so I think that... Oh, right over here. You know, I'll bring you down now and then line you up this way. Great. Oh, that kind of funny. All right. And then probably we will be ready to do some chains here, too. So I'll do this just so that we can supply multiple feeders. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's pointless. But. You know, I'll leave it in as some placeholders so that I sort of have a clue to myself for the future. Okay, so. 
As long as we get water pumping on this thing, this is going to start producing sulfuric acid. All right, so we need to get water there. Um, I'll just build a straight here because it's going to be easier to grab, grab off of up until a certain point. Now, there's some water over here. But I think what I'm going to do is keep running the water. Actually, maybe I should set it in parallel to these. And then let's just offset it that way. Okay. Go. Okay, so you've got water pumping down to. Hey, Actually, let me move that cable right there. There we go. And I may replace some of this with underground just so I can walk through, but it will be easier to wire it up otherwise. So if you end up with a cable there, you're okay. There you go. Sulfuric acid is happening. And. And obviously, we'll have to go and put you into some sort of storage container. I could actually put the storage container on the bottom here, which I actually think is a half decent idea. Although, I don't have any, but I do have the means to make four by hand, so I guess I'll just do that. So I'll bring it down. Yeah, quite far down here. Um. There you go. Here. Here. And then I think I often have these on the toolbar, but I'm not sure what I replace. I guess I do have some lights. I think it's like placing the lights. I, I will, maybe we'll try to include them in blueprints going forward. I mean, it does look very nice. Oh, you know, I kind of wish you could do the click and drag and it was like based on like the light radius or something. I mean, I'm not seriously asking that, but if at one point the developer is like, you know what we can do? It's just make it just like the power poles, but make it based on light radius. So you could click and drag that stuff. That would be kind of nice. Okay, so you're producing that. You're being stored over here. Cool. Um. Yeah. Okay. So we'll just extend this a bunch. And yeah, really, it needs quite a lot of the sulfur. Um, because it's five per cycle. So yeah, that gets used pretty much. And yeah, if I, you guys can be next to each other because there's not like two different liquids mixing. So, five sulfur input per second. We're only doing one side of this. Uh, I think we may only be able to run five of these actually without overusing it. I'm gonna build six just because, I don't know. What, whatever. Okay, and copy all those, and at least placing this is gonna be simple because we can just do this. Um, and then I guess, yeah, I'll just run the, oh, I don't think it reaches, yeah, it doesn't reach that, so we will have to use the medium poles. Okay. All right, I guess, Now these guys are grabbing their double stack. Do I want to run another thing here just for sulfur? No, um, have the iron over here and being grabbed by a red. And then we'd only have one blue grabbing the sulfur. Unless we, unless we go with the bulk insert actually. Maybe we just do that. Okay, change of plans. We're not going to do this whole split thing at all. Yeah, you're going to come in here and do both sides. You're going to come here. And do this. We're going to go... Uh, you know, I bet you I can, ins I can upgrade... Yeah, okay, I can upgrade the blue... I can upgrade the blue to the green, but I can't upgrade the blue to the red because they're kind of inherently different classes. Slow grab over there. 
and then replace and I guess I'll just I don't need the other things on the other side oh what level do I do for these normally well I mean I guess I'll just run this but it means we can't get another row on the other side feeding into the same pipe but I mean they could still just merge we can, I mean the pipes are cheap we could do that I'm betting I can do something a little bit stronger here, but so be it. Okay, so that is working, and we can also put down a few more over here. I think we're still gonna be constrained. I'll go to the end. I don't think all these will get fed, but I don't wanna do the math right now, so. Um, just come down to here. Of these undergrounds. Hold a few by hand. Fine. Wait, are we still being sulfur limited here? Okay, you know what? Never mind then. Oh, I still have to dump the crap that's in my hand too. I just want to do this just to clean this and all the sulfur. There we go. Which, I mean, obviously we'll make this look like we've got a huge backlog of stuff, but that's going to be okay. All right, power armor finished. Um, Yeah, okay. I mean, we'll just go up movement speed. Sure. Faster trains. Uh-huh. Uranium mining. Sure, why not? Robot speed. Material processing. Okay. We'll just fill the queue. Oh, well, actually, at this point, it's our sulfur production isn't sufficient. Okay, we are overproducing sulfur for one side of the line. So we could trim a couple of these off. Yeah, I'll have to remind myself what the math of these things are. Clearly, they don't have to go all the way to the end over here. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. That. Um, just have these guys face. It was 24, 48, is that per side? The yellows, is it 24 total and 12 per side? No, it's 24 per side, so it's 40. The reds have got to be 96. Anyway. Why, why would we try mathing on, t on TV? That never works out well. Um, You know, we'll go for mirror symmetry, even though it's not the same liquids that have, like, the two long pipe versus the one long pipe. Oh, and then I have to go get more undergrounds. I can't believe how many of those undergrounds I use. Actually, a little bit redonkulous. Yeah, the blue inserters here are doing a fine job. Uh, but we don't have to go all that far. How am I at the inserters, too? We could pick up some blues. Undergrounds, these. Okay, those are all fine. And yeah, bulk inserters, okay. So we'll pick up uh, sure, 100 more of the blues. You know what? I'm going to pick up some more of the reds as well. We don't use them as often, but. Sometimes. And, uh, you know what? I'm going to pick up a whole bunch of the above ground pipes as well. Okay. Yeah, all the logistic system stuff is ready to come in. I mean, I don't think I'm wrong that I needed all... No, I needed it for something. We were just looking at... I can't remember what it was that we like, needed it, but we definitely needed it for something here. And then, what's the easiest way to get... Yeah, I guess this is fine do is this and that put you in here oh it actually lines up by coincidence correctly here right to there and then for this one we need water yeah, I can bring it to here there 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 Okay, liquids are correct. Let's just finish the piping. Um, let's do the water side first. We're so close to construction bots, I can feel it. 
Okay, and then from here we do... I mean, I might be... Like, I'm, I'm sort of starving my sulfuric acid production, but I might be wickedly overproducing the sulfuric acid for what we need right now. Or it might turn out I'm wickedly underproducing it. We don't know. Okay. That sets. Now that's going to be doing both sides over. Oh. There we go. Missed a spot. Yeah, there we go. So that's feeding both sides. I suspect that this is going to fully saturate everything here as it clicks in. Yeah, actually, even this is too long. Okay. How many are you producing? Yeah, it's two per second. Two, four, six, eight, ten. See, I did 12 because I was thinking it's two per second. This can do 48 per side. Therefore, I want 12 per side. Is it 48 total and I just want six per side? Two, four, six, seven. And this doesn't run all the time. You know what? Maybe I was just doubling again. Where's my factorial cheat sheet? Although, weirdly enough... Oh, that, and they did change... The, well, it, okay. See, I was going to say, this does say 30 items per second. I think the old 2448... Were those the ratios for the mining things? I mean, because I was like, I was looking earlier. I was like, it says 30. But that's the speed. No, I guess that's it. Okay. So red throughput, both sides is 30. So it can do 15 per side, which let's round that up to 16 per side, which means I need eight of these per side for it to work. Two, four, six, eight. So this is all pointless. Now, I think we may have gotten a... Yep, we are full here. Okay, we're full of light oil. So, we need to go get Kraken. Because we have no production of anything. More. Well, I mean, we still have a slow trickle of this stuff coming in. And again, it may be fine for how much stuff we've made here for us to just go, listen, it would be much more convenient and much faster for me to build what's left over here. Um, with robots. But I think I'll go ahead and, and set this up. I mean, I'm clearly doing it. Mostly it was on autopilot. Okay. And then, you know what? Just for simplicity, I'm just going to do this. I know I can't walk through it, but that's going to have to be okay. Okay. So these are going to be pet producing more petroleum gas, and they're freeing up space in here, which is also going to enable more of the regular refining to work as well. Now, we're going to want much more of this going on, and it's possible the next bottleneck will be the heavy oil, and then we'll have to crack more of this into this and then extend this some more. But as long as this is still somewhat producing, it's going to be okay. Because right now we have a ridiculous amount of this sulfur stored up. Sulfuric acid, I should say. Now, the sulfuric acid used to make batteries. Yes, that's the next step. Yep. Iron plates, copper plates. And this, we have more than enough iron coming over here because we don't use very much iron at all. So we can use this iron. We'll have to bring some copper out here too. Now, I mean, we could connect these to the same pipe, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go and bring this over here. So you're gonna be set to do the batteries. And... Your inputs, there are two. How quickly do you process? Four second crafting time. Okay, so yeah, very little input required. Although maybe I still will do the close belt over here so we don't have to use the red inserters. We can just use the blues or even the stack ones. We're going to do that. So use more undergrounds, which... Really... Okay, I got to make the, the underground stack thing bigger. Clearly. Um... Let's leave a gap like that. That's a good idea. And from here, just to get this running, although I'm going to be annoyed walking through this area over and over, get this. Okay. 
right? And then what we want is we want copper running along here, which is gonna run into a similar problem of, oh, well, this area is really crowded, but try to get it around here, which actually could probably almost fit it here. We can fit it through here. Um, well, we can. Right, but we can. We actually need to go a little lower. Make the corner. I mean, I'm not using the space right now. Maybe what I shouldn't do is just say, listen. I mean, we can always do underground belts the other way. Or this after. Uh, there we go. Like that. work going on over there. Copper is not coming. Oh, we had the same issue over here where this click and drag across those undergrounds did not work. All right, so you guys are getting over here. Oh man, who, who wants spaghetti? I'm hungry. We go for some noodles right now. All right, so that's coming over there. So battery production is now going to be working. Carrying anything I dump? Perfect. Some garbage in my inventory. Ah, uh, okay. But to make bots work at all, we still need. Where's the bot delivery device? Is it, oh, it's this thing over here, which needs. Okay, we can craft it by hand. We need a bunch of red circuits. So that's fine. Batteries coming over here. What I'm gonna do is have the batteries. Um. Gosh, I hate to say this, but I think they might need to go onto the bus at some point. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. And then I'm just going to grab them and throw them into a box so I can pick them up. And if we can just, like, start bart, bart making? Bot making the hard way. That's going to be enough. But we will... Okay, we are going to want lots and lots of the... What are they called? Hubs? Roboports. We are going to want a bunch of roboports. And they're actually pretty simple to make if we look at the requirements here, right? Three ingredients, all things that are already on the belt, on the on the bus. Yeah. I could very easily do it over here. It needs three inputs. I don't know how quickly we need to replenish them. I kind of feel like I want to do two. So if I do that and then take that on and then just throw this in here and it clearly doesn't have to go very quickly, but I'm going to get both these things to make robo ports and feed it into there. Boom, boom. Let me pick this up and then, yeah, we'll have uh, we'll have at least two piles of this when it comes in. This can probably be limited to a single stack of robo ports. And then we want two inputs and we don't really care at the speed at which this works. This just needs to be operating. I mean, I guess I sort of care because I'm doing two. And it does grab a lot of stuff. <laughs> it really does grab a lot of stuff. Same amounts of everything. I don't know. What I'll do is I'll have you grab two reds and then a blue. Not even a green. Just do this. Yeah. All right. And it's gears, steel, and red circuits. There's my gears. So let's, so let's go one lower here, that. Here's over here, and then the idea is, no, I should probably just merge it on the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know what, then we'll go a little bit higher, because I think what might be ideal here
is set up kind of like this. Yeah, all right. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom. And then... I could be using the drag stuff to make this actually work more conveniently, but there we have it. Click, 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 and one of those. Okay. And then I want the red circuits running on the bottom here. Yeah, I would love little guidelines to be able to do this, but it looks like that's where we want the red stuff to come in. We end up with more coal in our pocket. Okay, do that. And then power, power, power. I guess I can use one of the big ones. Fine. You know what? Let's use up these tiny poles here. Okay. Roboports are assembling. And you know what? Let's use a bunch of the crap I've randomly picked up along the way. And we're going to handcraft some roboports. Because actually, they don't take long to craft. They mostly just take really long to pick up. And then the next thing we have to do is build a crap ton of the advanced storage chests. In fact... Huh. Should I set this up immediately? So we need steel chests, which I think just needs steel. Which, I mean, we even have some over here. We need red and green circuits. We have virtually everything we need. Hell, there's green circuits over here that I can just go and spaghetti pie. Uh, I did not mean to. You actually going the right way? You are. Okay, good. All right, if I do. Something like this. And I guess I don't really care about the speed too much again. We're going to need a lot of it. But we don't need to go fast. These steel chests. And do this. And. It's just going to be kind of easy. I mean, we're going to need the, the requester chest stuff at some point. No way that needs to be blue here. I feed those into here. And just do something very brute forcey. That and that. That and that. I need to get this way. Do this this and then you guys can turn around and do it this and I don't know let's leave a couple of stacks although I think these would be great candidates for being made into these are the provider chests right yeah like if anything's going to be an early provider chest oh they don't get stuck next to the other ones at those. And yeah, you're not in logistics range. Logistics? I'm regard. Logistics. But I mean, we could set something up in here. You know what? For now, let's just let's just get it somewhere. Let's just get it running. Okay. So technically, this is all part of the logistics network. Cool. Um, I guess the other thing I can do is so that I can do dumping, for example, is I can put down a bunch of these yellow chests over here. And they don't have to be told, like, this makes it so they'd only filter one thing. But I think, now, assuming I had any robots, which I don't, if I put stuff in a trash lot, like, if I said, you know what, um... Move items that are not requested by any logistics filter to trash lot. What? That's amazing! Now, if I do this, I'm just getting rid of it right now. But I can also... 
Oh, there we go. Plucky. And I can say I want zero and zero. And then I think we do that. I mean, I can also just do this, but then it would trash anything. I don't have a request. You just have to unlock a bunch of different slots. Does it really just give you like basically all the logistics you want at this point? Huh, so maybe we do define everything and then just put some trash stuff, but for now, I guess this is okay. I mean, th see, things like the coal, I actually do want some. I probably want like two stacks exactly, for example, to be ready to fuel. So we've got this, and I think it will it try to maintain between those. Man, it's been a while since I've done this, but um, sure, we'll unlock the purple research. We'll keep, okay, we can't do that until we mine some, which is fine. Um, let's just unlock things that do stuff for a second, and then that, and then that, and then oh, we'll want the we we'll want the laser damage. That's all good. All right, get started on that. So now that we got that, I don't. Can, no, you can't do the click and drag. range on these right there it looks like Got trash poles that's fine and right there because ideally and we're gonna do a little, maybe bootstrap robot making thing. It'd be great to feed these directly into a RoboPort. I don't have the means to make any more, no? No, I don't, but there's almost certainly some waiting for me. So let me pick those up. 42 minutes in the episode. Standard factory episode going long. As soon as we start putting any construction robots in here, again, what we also want is a personal RoboPort, but and we need batteries and things and all that as well. Yeah, you've reached. Oh, it's 10 is the max stack. Um, Since 10 is the max stack. I think we're going to want huge numbers like later. But for now, maybe just two stacks currently. But yeah, I think this is something that we want to have a bunch in a buffer for when we're deploying a new area. I don't think we need these to build very quickly, but I think we do actually want to buffer a large amount. Go. Sort of get a little closer to full stacks of those two. Okay. It's production tweaking. Probably as we get some number shortages. And... Nope, it's not there, it's here. There we go. Okay. So, construction bots. Oh, that's right! We need the flying robot frames, which I think need electric engines, which I think need regular engines, which is a huge amount of work, right? Yep. Yep. Oh, and lubricant, which we don't have yet. I don't think we need the blue circuits yet, although the blue circuits... I don't, know, I don't know if you need blue circuits productivity modules. I don't think so. Although I don't think we've got the raw goods to support module making, because I think they take a lot of circuits, which means a lot of copper. And we still don't have a giant mass circuit assembly area. We're doing a trickle of circuits as part of our kind of... We're still in a bootstrapping phase. We're sort of in the, the middle game bootstrapping phase, but we're still definitely there. Yeah. Um, and we can't make those by hand, but we need the lubricants anyway. Okay, well, I guess next episode is when we work on lube and our engine shut up. Huh. Here's what I propose. We'll have to get the batteries over to the, the bus. I think there's a few things that need batteries. Um... I think, I, I guess we probably do the lubricant setup over here, but I think one of the things that's going to happen 
is lubricants are going to get set back. Maybe I never put, maybe I never put any iron over here. Cause I was like, oh, we need a lot of iron throughput, but I mean, we can just keep upgrading the, the belt here and we can do like an injection of more iron stuff along the way. Maybe what we do is we have the liquids all in this section. I don't know actually how many liquids we need on the bus, but I think the lubricant sort of is a good idea. And then, yeah, we'll get some some robot making and feed it into one of the robo ports and get that going. So that'll be next time. Folks, thanks a lot for watching another episode. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.